Welcome to another episode of Dr. James Beckett's Sports Card Insights. I am thankful to our sponsors, uh, Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication, ComC.com, Burbank Sports Cards, Mike Stadium Sports Cards, Heritage Auctions, Huggins and Scott Auctions, Panini, Upper Deck, and Tops. Uh, they make it possible. And it's very encouraging to have uh, nice sponsors. Uh, you know, when I do these episodes, I don't know how long they're going to last. Uh, not in terms of shelf life. <laughs> I think they're going to last for, for years. But uh, when I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about Jerry West, and I don't know if that's going to be 10 minutes or if it's going to be 15 minutes, it's probably going to be something in between. Uh, Jerry West, uh, the basketball player, but also the basketball executive. And for those of you who follow sport closely, he's the logo, the, the, the logo of the NBA uh, 50, a little more than 50 years ago was designed. And, and it was from a photo of Jerry West that, uh, that, that, uh, it's indistinguishable facially, but people can tell by the body, uh, not contortion, but his, his, uh, the, the way, well, I'll, I'll explain that. But uh, Jerry West was not just a logo, and you know, I think he could be in the Hall of Fame of basketball just just for being the most uh, an amazing executive in terms of a general manager, president of basketball operations, those kind of things, with several franchises, not just the Lakers, th- three others, I believe. Uh, but a fabulous player, uh, obviously, Mr. Clutch. Uh, but my first connection with Jerry West was when I was in sixth grade. It's late summer of 1960. We had moved to Wheeling, West Virginia, and uh, started a new school. And, uh, again, being in West Virginia, uh, Zeke from Cabin Creek, which was his nickname from uh, growing up in the backwoods of uh, West Virginia, where there's not much to do in some of those little towns other than shoot hoops. But uh, Jerry West was the man. He would, he had uh, just graduated in the spring from uh, West Virginia University. And I moved into a town. And up to that point, I think I'd been playing baseball. And I, I wasn't great at baseball, kind of a late bloomer. But uh, West Virginia was basketball country. And so I don't really remember playing basketball until sixth grade. I remember playing baseball and going out and, you know, baseball and football uh, in, the, in the neighborhoods where we grew up. But I don't remember playing basketball. And basketball was almost exclusively what uh, what the kids in, in my neighborhood, they collected baseball cards. Actually, they collected baseball cards more so than basketball because there weren't basketball cards just exactly then. But uh, there, 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 there were basketball cards a couple years later. Um, but it was year-round playing basketball. And uh, one thing I can tell you about basketball compared to baseball is that, uh, you know, baseball, I, I mean, I hustled in baseball. I tried to be an overachiever. Uh, I was not a bad baseball player, but 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 basketball, you've really got to be in shape. And I, and I was in good shape. And so uh, being a hustler, playing tough defense uh, ingratiates you with your, your teammates, being a good passer. And of course, when I'm a sixth grader, uh, I'm mainly doing passing when I'm, when I'm, uh, when I'm learning the game. But, uh, again, everybody was into it. It was a lot of fun. And Jerry West was the, was the, was the, the state hero. Um, uh, unfortunately, Jerry West playing years, most of them were in the basketball uh, dark ages where there were no, no sets. Okay. When he comes out and starts in the fall of 60, there, there are no cards. He's, 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 uh, featured on a cons wieners card. Um, and that's a, a very nice card. I actually have that card. Uh, you don't find them in great condition because they were the the, the stiffener in the back of the uh, of the bottom of the of the hot dog package. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't get that from my parents, uh, but I somehow got that card over the years, uh, probably in the 70s when it wasn't extremely expensive. Uh, Jerry West was was an amazing uh, college player. I think he was. You know, he, he, I think his teammates, he would say he had pretty good teammates, but again, he was the only guy. Uh, and he's typically compared to Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson was the first draft pick in 1960 of the NBA draft, and West was number two, Jerry West. Uh, I met Oscar Robertson oh, 20 or 25, 25 or 30 years ago. <laughs> he's a big guy. And when I met him, I just mentioned, you know, that I, I went to middle school in, in uh, West Virginia, and he just... I didn't even have to complete my sentence. He, he kind of knew what I was going to say. The inevitable comparisons to uh, to Jerry West and I was very they're very different types of players. Both uh, iconic, uh, amazing, perhaps even top ten uh, talents. It's hard to compare from different eras. But but uh, he was a triple double machine before people cared about that. Whereas Jerry West, Mister Clutch, you know when when you wanted a basket and he came up big in all those uh, playoff games and even when he was sick. Uh, 
His, uh, his rookie card, his recognized rookie card is not the cons. It's the 6162 Fleer, uh, which I used to have. I wound up trading it. Now I want, I want to do a do over on the trade, but I think the statute of limitations of, uh, uh, trades for more than 40 years ago are, it's, you can't do take backs at that point. So, uh, I had a, a I had a whole set. I traded it for, I probably traded that for like a 57 top set, which was a steal at the time. <laughs> It's steal for me, uh, in that nobody cared about the basketball cards, but uh, not looking as good now, especially since it was in very nice condition. Uh, there's, let's see, uh, well, one of the things, the logo, the reason they noticed that Jerry West is the logo or was the, it came from his photo, is that he had a, a certain kind of a body lean or body control uh, again, back in the day, if we're going back, uh, 50 years ago or more, uh, the rules of, of, uh, traveling or palming the basketball and carrying the ball were way, way stricter. In fact, I don't know what rule book they're looking at, but there's, there, the, to get around somebody, uh, was, was, uh, much more difficult, much more difficult in those days. And you could just see that it's kind of like a skier has to, uh, the, an expert skier has to have, be able to hinge, uh, his or her body. Uh, to get get around a corner, to get around somebody. And so that was, you know, he had the ability. And again, he, he was the opposite of today's basketball. Today's basketball is, is get to the, get to the restricted area, get to the, get to the inside five feet, get, get in for a dunk or stay out in, uh, in three point land. Whereas Jerry West was just this amazing, uh, uh, you know, could get his shot in, in the mid range and did well. When I looked at the Beckett, online price guide, I noticed that there are 2,300 cards, different ones, uh, listed there, worth, again, price guide value, a total of $53,000. That just struck me. Is it? Could I really corner the market for $53,000 for Jerry West, one of the greatest players of all time? When you put that in the context of $53,000, will not buy you the best card of, the best one card of somebody that is under 25 years old. And there's not just one guy, but uh, several cards. Uh, Jerry West also had the first, I think he's the first impact uh, basketball autograph, which was the upper deck uh, 91, 92 Jerry West heroes. So that's interesting. And that the value of that is, I say only a hundred dollars. Uh, that wasn't, that was a pretty, uh, pretty heavily produced set. But on the other hand, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was hard to, hard to, I mean, it was the seeding of, of, of those better cards in those overproduced. You could open up a case and you, you may or may not get one. Uh, but then I noticed the other thing that also depresses the value of that card is that there are 999 other Jerry West autographs and he's autographing, you know, the, the, the value of autographs is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is demand, but also supply. And when the supply, when somebody lives a long time and cranks out a lot of autographs, unless you're Babe Ruth, uh, there's, uh, you know, sometimes the, the, the supply is, you know, keeps the, keeps the price uh, depressed a little bit. So that may be the case there. Um, or you gotta be cranky and not, not sign autographs. And I don't, I think, uh, Jerry West from what it seems, I have not met him, but he seems like a pretty humble guy for, for being, for being, uh, as probably was the case for most of my friends I met in West Virginia. It's a very unassuming state. And, uh, again, he's was, uh, was amazingly gifted, uh, basketball player. And then to top that off with being this amazing eye for talent, uh, of rebuilding uh, more than one franchise and be just somehow having this ability to see, uh, I know there's, there's, uh, uh, desire to make Kobe the, the, the new, a, a new logo going forward. But again, if you're going to pick one guy for the logo, you, you can't go too wrong with Jerry West. He, he didn't seek it out. It just happened. He didn't draw any attention to himself. And then he's, he's gone on to great, uh, uh, distinction, uh, within the NBA for a career of, what would that be 60 years? It'd be 60 years now. So, uh, again, worthy of, uh, tribute. He's not, uh, not, uh, dead, but he's, uh, I guess he's probably pushing 80s, probably late 70s. And, uh, 
again, worthy of your collecting interest. If you're collecting a list of the top NBA guys of all time, he's he's on that list. And the big O, too. Again, I think that's amazing to have two guys like that. If you look at the draft class from from uh, 1960, the NBA, it's those two, and then there's a giant drop-off. Uh, but those, twos were t- those two were two of the greatest. And it, I don't know that it sticks in Jerry West Craw that he was number two draft to the big O, but uh, uh, nevertheless, they, they both were, were outstanding. Thanks for your attention. I'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Uh, I guess I should say I, there are two cards I would want. Uh, I have the, the uh, Cons Wiener, uh, kind of pre-rookie card. Uh, I don't have the 6162 Bell brand, which is, uh, an extremely, really, really tough card. And I don't have the 6869 Tops Test, uh, card, which is listed at $3,000, but my, I'm guessing, and he's, he's like right behind Wilt and Bill Russell, uh, in the, in the values for that set. But I, I think those, those values are, are a little light because I just, it's very, very tough. I mean, I've only seen a handful of those over the years. So happy collecting, uh, and enjoy your time. And I will be back again tomorrow with another episode. is doing all right.